Good morning, everybody, and it is morning here in Skyrim AE. This is my series, Ma'am and Airy. This is Ma'am, and uh, hey, what can I tell you? We're we're here in Skyrim. My channel is Miss Valley Skyrim. My name is Dread. I am your Miss Lord for these adventures. So, if you don't know, this is being played on my own personally curated Skyrim mod list. This is called Scrim, a mid-weight RPG mod list. And uh, now that it's morning, we are here overnight, we are actually going to be heading over this way. I was, uh, went from Morthal and started looking, ended up over here. I was in a total wrong area, which is normal for me. So everybody relax. That's totally normal. Totes normal. Aries following. Usually a ways behind. Airy. Airy. Oh, Airy. Airy. Harry. Damn it. Freaking Skyrim. I lost Harry. What I'm gonna do. Hey, teleport over here. It should bring her to me. There you are, Harry. It's uh, Mam's second cousin, Harry. Okay. We'll be heading this direction. Save down. You approach our spot. Correct. Okay, I don't see any enemies. Oh, there's some over there.
look at this place. It's spooky looking. Alva's journal. When the eye is doused in flames, the hair will light the way. Heard that fool Sidn Sindnar say it over and over, breath sticking a veil as if it were a limerick. Given his dark hood, you might think it was a dangerous spell, but so long as no one's hair caught on fire or found imps in the cupboards, the words were harmless. Just the mad rumblings of a drunk. But the inn patrons only eye bothered to humor him. We bonded over a wine of hunting a bottle of hunting brew hunting brew in the bucket with which we had history. So when the elf bit the dust, it was only naturally left as things to me. Among them were countless pieces of junk, including full ownership of the bucket and a spell tome written in some long dead language. As soon as I started cursing the old fool for willing me his trash, out slipped two items of value, a map, and notes to a tower deep in the swamp. It was only after reading it, I realized his drunken words weren't part of any limerick, they were instructions, a way in. Now that I'm here, things are getting even more clear. The hair part still doesn't make a lick of sense, but the eye is the stone seal, that much I'm sure. Nothing I do seems to work. I've doused it in the fire from my torch. I've kindled, I've chopped kindling for hours, built a bonfire high enough to scorch the bloody moon. Still nothing. Maybe the seal can only be broken with magic. Well, if that drunken fool can learn to cast spells, so can I. I've got the bastard's tome. I just need to make sense of the words. I better be quick. Fire seems to be attracting all sorts of creatures from the belly of this unholy marsh. We'll think of answers five long enough to discover whatever treasure lies within. All right. Okay. Do your place. Open? All right, go on in, Mary. Well, check out this place, Harry. Aha! She's home. She's changed into her other uniform, her other outfit. Well, then she's going to go all casual. So are we. There we go. Casual second cousins. Here. 
I understand. How can I argue with that? Hey, I don't I don't get it. Why are you wearing a hat? I understand. Okay. Where do you get Can the hat from? You? I'll be sure to put it to good use. Let's get going then. Stuff here we can harvest. Glowing light. Nothing's in here we're not using. Not really now. Got some clothing on here, I guess. Spots here for that stuff. Specific things, okay. It's all very interesting. This place has a bath or not. What do you think? Any kind of place to take a bath? Okay, let's uh, let's go back through here. No uh, no balconies or anything. Yeah? No. Interesting things. This.
stuff. Oh, more cooking over here. Got an oven too. Stuff safe saves it safe or the one empty safe. Well, at least we made it here. That's a good thing. Some more light armor. It's really great we're friends. I was hoping to find some way to thank you. I hope this does the trick. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Wise Mage once told me the power of a spell lies in one's conviction. It's evident to me now that the college has lost all desire of purpose and has become feckless under its current stewardship. The Archmage Shalador believe the halls to be a proving ground where a mage could test the limits of their abilities. Now the college is a tomb of knowledge where grand spells and lofty ideals are left to wither and rot. We should not let the outside world dictate how we conduct ourselves. Uh, placating their ignorance is not a virtue. The augurs speak of a great war on the horizon. We should be doing everything in our power to prepare for it. That is what Teal, Ja, and I have chosen to leave. We know the road ahead will be hard. One thing we do not lack is a conviction to see it through. Destruction of the tower is almost complete. Teal, Ja accused me of being impatient. A crime which I've been guilty of more often than not. Between us, he has always been the tortoise and I the hare. Still, our needs are pressing. The coming war will not wait for the mortar to dry. The location has much to do with the delays, but that can't be helped. The Nords are distrustful of magic by nature and some would frown upon our efforts. Others might take a more violent approach. For that reason, we put a ward on the door that requires magic to dispel. We've chosen to honor Shalador in much of what we do, including the seal outside the door. Steel Jazz seemed pleased with the idea of setting it on fire, while others seemed uncomfortable with the idea. I warned them that pride is the enemy of progress. If we are to survive in the coming storm, we must not be bound by tradition. We must be willing to set it aflame. It's been a year since construction is finished, yet there's still much that needs to be done. The tower is only the foundation for our defense. 
Our minds and our magic must serve as its ramparts, and for them to hold, we must amplify our strength. As such, I have sent scouts throughout Tamriel to find powerful artifacts that may help us in our efforts. Artifacts the college wizards refuse to obtain out of cowardice or comfort. Many of these relics played a role in preventing calamities of the past. Perhaps it is their destiny as much as ours to stand between the world and its ruin. We've had little luck finding artifacts of note. Based on the information I've culled from the Arcanium records, I know there are several here in Skyrim, including the staff of Galder. You must endeavor to find them all. More concerning, however, is the disposition and morale of the mages. Even Teal Ja seems to have fallen into the trappings of routine and idleness. It is hard to convince weary souls to explore yet another ruin, when the task has been stripped of all urgency. Now, halfway through the year 433, more than 10 years since we left the college, it all remains blissfully calm. One of the new acolytes even suggested abandoning her training to become a cook, happily showing me her spell for preserving apple pies. I reminded her that she is here to study battle magic, not pastries. She'll have more than enough time to indulge her sweet tooth when her youth is behind her. It is why we devoted half the library to the placement of powerful artifacts to serve as a reminder of our pursuit. Yet seeing the racks as they are now, collecting only dust, makes you wonder if I've led us all astray. As leader of this guild, I have the training to fight and the knowledge of what's to come, but I don't have, sadly, the conviction that it will. The courier came by with news from Cyrodiil. Emperor Septim is dead. The gates of oblivion have opened. Divines help us all. Huh. That's neat. Well, dear Aerie, I think we found ourselves a home, don't you think? Yeah, it's a little unnaturally bent, that leg, but not that bad, actually. So, people, uh, I think it's a little bit of a short episode, but this is what I wanted to find. We've uh, we found that we've explored it a little bit. And, uh... We're going to chill here. I'm going to uh, try to unburden uh, Ma'am with all the stuff she's carrying and uh, find places in this area, in this uh, little tower to put things. The greatest for storage. It's got storage. It's just, yeah. You know. Anywho, sorry, just drinking a little frappuccino there. Um, I think I think that's going to be it for this episode. I think I'll take a few days off of uh, recording this one and move into something else. But thank you all very much once again. Please leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out the links down below to Miss Valley Skyrim, Miss Valley Gaming, Miss Valley Entertainment News, and Miss Valley Discord, as well as my Twitch channel, Miss Valley Gaming 01. Thank you all so much. Don't forget, I live stream as well, both on YouTube and Twitch. Keep an eye out for that. If you join the Discord, that's where I post everything that I do as well as just talking about what's going on in my life and have a conversation with anybody who wants to have one, bringing up interesting things and articles for others who might want to read them, all that good stuff. So from Miss Valley Skyra, my name is Dread. Thank you all so much. You're the reason I do this. Stay safe out there, everybody. See you all next time here in Tamriel.